Hi there, John Moore here, and I am a shamanic teacher and practitioner from the state of Maine in the U.S., and today I want to talk to you about vril, the word vril, and you may or may not have ever heard of the word vril. Um, it was a little bit of a new one to me, even though it's a, an, uh, you know, a word with some history to it, and I want to go through it because it is, um, you know, just did a video about spiritual energy and Vril fits in, the concept of Vril fits into that. I want to talk about the history and how it's been used and um, uh, some of the historicity of it as well. Um, so I came across this word Vril when doing some research on uh, Norse shamanism. There are some, uh, the, at least a group out there um, using what they call vril as a term for um, spiritual energy. So let me get into a little bit of the history of the word vril. And I'm going to read a little bit, and I apologize for that, but I just don't want to get anything incorrect when I'm speaking historically. So as far as we know, the term vril came from a novel published first in 1871 called The Coming Race. Um also known as Vril, the Power of the Coming Race, written by Edward Bul Bulwer Lytton, again published in 1871. It was a science fiction novel that featured a subterranean civilization that was uh, an advanced race of people that um, used this power, this uh, sort of secret power to, con to power everything called Vril. Now, that novel was, and I haven't read it, maybe I should, um, I'll, I'll look it up and maybe maybe read it, um, but they were able to perform extraordinary feats using this, using this mystical power called Vril. And so that term, that novel was apparently very popular, that term was taken and used in esoteric and occult circles in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Um, of note, there is a legend of a Nazi secret society called the Vril Society that supposedly used this energy to pursue their evil goals and that sort of thing. However, um, that may be more of an urgent urban legend than anything else. There is very little or no historical evidence that such a secret society existed. However, as it could have been a secret society. Maybe there are no records. I don't know. Um, but then at that point, that the term for some people became synonymous with uh, Nazism, right? Sort of like the Nazis borrowed a lot of imagery from uh, Norse culture, from old Norse culture, from Viking culture. They borrowed imagery from, uh, you know, the swastika they borrowed from as a, a Hindu holy symbol, actually, um, but actually a symbol that's, that was used in many different cultures. There are, um, you know, I've seen it used in uh, throughout Asia and in Native American um, motifs as well and was stolen, I'm going to say misappropriated by the Nazis, um, uh, as were many symbols during those days. So who knows, uh, who knows if the Vril Society actually existed, but because of that rumor and legend and myth and everything that grew up around that, um, I think that probably led to the word, word kind of going out of favor. Um, that being said, uh, the explanation of what Vril is, um, it just seems like it is another name for empowered spiritual energy. So there are lots of names for that. There's um, Megan from ancient Norse. There's um, Chi or Ki from Chinese and Japanese. There's Prana from uh, yoga. There is, you know, Sanskrit Prana. Um, there's a Ruach from Kabbalah, um, really associating a lot of this energy with breath, with mystical force, with energy coming from the gods, um, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. And there are, you know, there are certainly people using that term today. And hopefully those people have 
divorce themselves from any sort of, uh, you know, um, ultra nationalist or racist or anything agenda. Um, everything I've seen sort of tries to distance itself from, uh, from that, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, there certainly are people out there, um, practicing paganism and magic and, and shamanism who might not be, um, you know, might not be, uh, great citizens of the world who are loving, compassionate, and kind. Um, you know, people are people. Uh, that being said, this is just a brief talk on Vril and Vril energy and what the, you know, historical orig origin of that term. I thought it might be interesting because I came across the term in doing some research and um, dug a little bit deeper to find out where it came from. And there you have it. Uh, with that, I love all of you. I will talk to you very, very soon.